morning. This is my second installment on our three-part series on aging in place. Um, a, a series entitled Home Automation for Seniors. The stairs are getting so hard to climb. Since my wife died, I just opened a can of soup for dinner. I've lived here for 40 years. No other place will seem like home. These are common issues for older people. You may share the often heard wish, I want to stay in my own home. The good news is that the right help, you might be able to do just that. Staying in your home as you get older is called aging in place. If staying at your home is important to you, you may still have concerns about safety, getting around, or other activities of daily life. Home automation technology is increasing in the number of households. It is because of all the benefits it presents. These technology systems and assisting equipment have become a viable option for those who would rather stay in their homes and move to assisted living facilities. To sum it up, home automation for the elderly and disabled is changing lives every single day. Here are some ways that home automation technology can be used effectively to help keep people with disabilities and the elderly safe and help make their lives a little easier. How to plan ahead to age in place. Planning ahead is hard because you never know how your needs might change. The first step is to think about kinds of help you might want in the near future. Maybe you live alone, so there's no living in your, there's no one living in your home who is able to help you. Maybe you don't need help right now, but you live with a spouse or a family member who does. Everyone has a different situation. Automatic light controls is a beginning. It's a great starting point when looking at home automation for the elderly or disabled. Technology allows for lights to be controlled with a remote control or an app on a smartphone and can serve as an excellent option for those who have trouble with mobility or reaching light switches. Another useful home automation lighting feature includes motion sensor lights with the ability to turn on and off depending on if a person is entering or leaving a room. Automated doors and locks. Getting to the front door promptly can be difficult for many seniors and mobility dis disabled individuals. Many automated locks now have the technology, to avail uh, technology available to read fingerprints. Family and friends who plan to visit can save their fingerprints into the system and then just use the fingerprint memory to let themselves into the home instead of the homeowner having to struggle to come to the door. When using automated locks on doors, trusted friends and family members will also have the ability to ensure that a door is locked from wherever they are just by using a smart app on a device such as a tablet or a smartphone. Home safety and security. Home automation for elderly and disabled can help feel safer and more secure in their homes. During a medical emergency, security systems can be connected to allow a person in medical crisis to access the help they need. By just pressing a button on the security system, someone will be automatically dispatched to the home without having to go through the steps to call the emergency services. Automated appliances. Sometimes those who are considered elderly may forget to turn off the appliance in their homes. This can be, prove to be extremely dangerous. Home automation systems can be used to hone the settings of the machines to automatically turn off after a certain period. Many potentially dangerous common console appliances can be hooked a home automation system, including faucets, curling irons, toasters, and stoves. Home automation for the elderly and disabled can help people feel safer in their homes and decrease the worry of family and friends. Automated reminder systems. 
automated reminder system installed in the home can remind an individual about other important things, not just medicine. These systems can be used to remind an elderly or disabled person about important events or appointments they need. They are set to attend. They also can be used to remind them of tasks they need to be completed. This is an excellent feature of home automation for el elderly and disabled as it will allow them to have their own individual freedom and independence while helping to assure that they were able to be reminded of the goals they set to complete. Medicine dispensing devices. Home automation can be used for medication dispensing devices. These devices can be set to dispense medication at the correct time. This can prove to be a very beneficial feature of home automation for the elderly and is able to ensure that they get the proper dosage of their medication will not be taking too much or too little. In summary, imagine being able to live in a home set to your daily schedule and routine such as lights turning off and on automatically. Family members being able to let themselves in your home and never have to worry about whether or not you left the stove on. Home set up with automated technology can make all of this possible. Home automation technology is continuously increasing and improving, making it easier for elderly and disabled to live more comfortably, lot more comfortable lives in their homes by meeting their unique needs. The devices can range from simple features to more complex designs, but they all aid in helping users have safer and more independent lives. Smart home technology, programmable lighting, motion detectors, and video surveillance have been around for decades, but the rise of wireless capabilities and a focus of renewable energy and green light living has brought these technologies into the mainstream. Some home automation products are particularly suited for seniors. Mobile devices, including smartphones and tablets, continue on a path to overtake desktop PCs as a primary way people access the internet. This mobile adoption is true among seniors as well, as they understand the value of devices that can deliver email, news, weather, as well as other apps that track blood pressure, deliver medication reminders, and provide GPS location services. Wearables, you probably remember the iPhone, I can't get up commercials for a few years back. That was a massive era of personal emergency response or PERS products. Unfortunately, many seniors refused to wear these pendants which were not waterproof and is designed strictly for house-centric lifestyle. Newer mobile PERS or MPERS technology is improving on the old model and includes a variety of wearable products. Wearable technology, technologies are advancing constantly and healthcare gadgets targeted at seniors can monitor and treat heart-related conditions, arthritis, diabetes, depression, COPD, and asthma, as well as proving, providing fitness and sleep. GPS technology can pinpoint a person's location with great accuracy. Many products and services can make staying in your home easier, even when you start to require help with daily living activity. In our next installment and a final, in our next and final installment, how smart technology can help you age in place, we'll discuss another options that can help. Streaming perks with a mobile plan. I'm Huey Poplock. Did you know that most of the mobile phone companies have what they call either perks or a bonus or an add-on, but they have specials that involve streaming TV? I discovered it when I saw this ad on my Facebook for an ad of Philo through my T-Mobile plan. Verizon has some perks, as does AT&T, although AT&T's really isn't a lot. They just give you three months of premium channels uh, for free. 
and then you pay the regular price. Now, I've been using DirecTV Stream from AT&T for the last oh, six or eight months because they carried a program and a channel that I wanted, and that was On Patrol Live on Reels, which is a channel on some services. Well, that's the problem. They're only on a few services, and one of them was Direct TV Stream. I went to Supposed.TV and saw that the Reels channel is now on a couple of the services that are available. Now, one of the things I also want to have is the local TV channels. So I just put in one of them, and when I did that, now I could see that uh, Philo did not carry the local channels, and that's why I had chosen Direct TV Stream originally, because I was able to get the local TV channels and Reels. You will also see, in order to get Reels and subscribe to YouTube TV, I had to have a combination of YouTube TV and Philo, and that's what I've decided I, I'm going to do. I am in the process of making that change, as you will see in this presentation. The special that was included in the ad on Facebook was that it was $15 a month for Philo. Instead of the 25, clicked on the ad, and it took me to where I could sign up for it. And I s tried to sign up for it. It didn't work. So when I did that, I called the T-Mobile support and got a very knowledgeable young lady in Tampa that told me that I should it should be working, and she tried to make it work, and it didn't. And then she checked with engineers, and they said uh, they were updating the software. It should be ready in 24 or 48 hours, and to try it then. And then we got to discussing why I was changing or why I wanted to try Philo. We talked about Reels, and she mentioned the fact that, did you know that there were other specials that T-Mobile had available? And I said, no, I didn't realize that. So she told me all about it. But let's finish up. I, I went ahead and a couple of days later signed up for Philo. And as you see, I, I got my account. It gave me the information. I had to go and fill it in. And it was going to cost me $18 because the section that carries reels is a $3 extra. And so this is what Philo looks like. And then I, in order to make it work on my TV, I had to sign in and link. Uh, the usual things that you have to do when you add a service to your TV. And then I was signed in, and I can use Philo. The lady that I was speaking to in uh, the T-Mobile tech support said, did you know that there were also other add-ons that you can get for free for streaming services? And I said, no, I didn't. She told me to go to my T-Mobile app, go to my account, and then where it says manage data and add-ons to click on that. And so I did. When I did, she said, you'll see that there are a lot of extras that you can get. The ones you want to look at are the Apple TV, the Netflix Basic, which both of those will be forever free long as you maintain your T-Mobile account. And then you can get the Paramount Plus for $4.99 a month for a year. And at the end of the year, it goes up to its regular price, which I, I think is around 8 or $9. But I can also cancel it at the end of the year. And as you can see, I did subscribe to each of those. There are some other perks or add-ons. I can get additional storage for my Google One account, which I, I already have uh, 100 gigabytes, and that's all I need. And so uh, I, I'm not using this for that. But also there were other services, one of them being Apple TV Plus, and it's free forever as long as I maintain my mobile account. Apple TV is a streaming service featuring Apple Originals, award-winning series, compelling dramas, and so on, as you can see. In addition to the Apple TV+, Plus, I could get Netflix Basic for free forever 
again, as long as I have my T-Mobile account. And this is the Paramount Essentials that also, uh, uh, it, it, it's a mountain of entertainment of Paramount Plus. You can catch can't miss originals, live sports, big movies, and so on from Paramount Plus. And the Netflix basic is watch your favorite original content, movies, and shows on one screen at a time with Netflix Basic. Plus, you can download videos on a phone or a tablet. It's Netflix on us, according to T-Mobile. And so I signed up for that as well. So now I have Philo, and I am switching from DirecTV Stream back to YouTube TV, which I... I like the service and I like the uh, menus better, but it's a personal thing. But I'm going to switch back and YouTube TV is slightly cheaper and DirecTV just raised their prices. So this is a good time for me to make that change. You can get streaming perks with a mobile plan. And I'm Huey Poplock. Could be done. So for example, Facebook. So if you're in Facebook and you want to get a photo. <laughs> Alexa, photo, turn off TV. Okay. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. I'm in the kitchen in my house. This is sort of the central area uh, where we all sort of congregate. And this is our new Omni Fire 43 inch TV that we've had for about three or four months now. I'm really impressed with it. And I'm sort of an all in Amazon guy. I was just watching, of course, uh, Geeks on Tour, one of their uh, videos. They have a very popular uh, it's called the button show and they have it on Sunday and uh, Chris gives lots of good tips so I like to place I can't always attend so I like to play some of these while I'm cooking or working around in the kitchen uh, so I can control all the Amazon features in, in my TV I can run the TV with Amazon Alexa turn on TV Alexa play YouTube it can't be done so you see it's all the features of the TV can be controlled with Miss A commands. And add photos, all it does is take you to your hard drive. Alexa, stop. The photos are in the cloud. So all the features of your Amazon voice commands that you use all the time with your Echo devices are all available on this TV because Amazon's ecosystem has been incorporated into the television so you have a fully functioning tv we're going to do lots of exciting things we're going to we're going to uh, show you how when you ring the doorbell your amazon doorbell it will just automatically come up on the tv you can do a picture in picture you can zoom with the tv all sorts of really fun things that you can do that i'm going to show you in this video now you're probably wondering what the heck is an omni tv well you all know that Amazon has had Fire TVs for many years. In September of 2021, Amazon brought, brought out the new Omni series, which had a number of features, particularly the integration into Miss A that made these TVs unique. Now in January of 2023, we have five TVs in the Omni series. The 75 inch is a separate TV and we'll talk about that in a minute, but the other four TVs, the uh, 65, 55, 50 and 43 inch are all the same with the same features. So let's have a look at what makes these t TVs unique and I'll give you a little bit of information about them and their price points. So the Amazon Fire TV 75 inch is a new TV that was brought out late in 2022. And it has a higher resolution screen than the other four models. It's a QLED series for ultra high definition TV. This is unique, as I said, because it's different than the other four in the lineup. So let's have a look at the other four TVs. The prices I'm gonna be showing you today are US prices just taken in January of 2023 off the Amazon site. These often are heavily discounted and may vary month to month. But the price of this TV is $1,299 in January of 2023. 
So these are the four TVs that are exactly the same, and you'll see the pricing on the left side of your screen. We have these are the Omni Series 4K UHD Smart TVs. These come with Dolby Vision and are integrated with Miss A. You'll see that they have four models, the 65 inch, the uh, 55 inch, 50 and 43 inch TV. I purchased the 43 inch TV and I'll show you that in the next slide. Now this is the current price of the TV I purchased, the 43 inch Omni Series 4K UHD. The price is $344.97 US. And I note now that it all comes, also comes with a mounting bracket for the wall. This is an added feature that did not occur when I purchased mine. These TVs are also heavily discounted throughout the year, and you may find a lot lower price on this if you watch for sales. Now the features on these TVs are all the same, except as I said, for the 75 inch TV, which is a separate category. These all have 4K Ultra HD screens, which have uh, 1080p and full HD. They come with uh, full HDR, and also, as I mentioned, hands-free uh, integration with Miss A. They also come with uh, Dolby Digital Audio Plus, which likely will be integrated this year into other Amazon devices. Now, should you consider purchasing this TV? Is this TV right for you? Now, the reviews on this 43-inch Amazon TV really said the same thing that the picture quality is average. You will find that there are a lot better TVs for the same price, and you'll find them a lot worse. So the TV itself is average. So why should you look at purchasing this TV, and what are the unique features of it? And that clearly is the integration into Miss A. I have a lot of TVs in my house and was looking for a TV specifically that would integrate into Miss A because I have all those devices, including my ring doorbell. I wanted a TV that would seamlessly, when someone pushed the doorbell, I could see it on my TV. And this is not possible to do on other TVs with the ring doorbell. So this provided an easy method for me to have access into the Amazon ecosystem through my TV. I've had my TV now for about six months, and I like the I like all the features about it. I wish the screen was a little bit brighter. Uh, I like the sound. I haven't needed a sound bar. And also the um, Fire OS that's running the TV is snappy, crisp, and it moves from channel to channel to channel uh, or different services quickly. So I like that. If you also are looking for a TV that integrates into uh, Zoom, this comes with a microphone that has a switch on the TV so you can turn this off for privacy. It allows you easy access into a Zoom meeting. There is a Zoom app, which I'm going to show you, that comes uh, that you can download onto your TV and it works very well for Zoom meetings. So if you are looking at not having to have a PC or a phone, you can simply do a Zoom meeting with your Amazon Fire TV. The only thing you would have to purchase would be a webcam. The webcam seamlessly integrates into the TV as it just plugs into the USB port. So if you have any of these reasons for the purchase of this TV, I certainly think it is a good one to do. Also, since for $350, uh, you can easily find this at a lower price, so it makes it a great deal. All right, I'm just sitting watching the uh, football game here. Let's see who comes to the front door. Now you see, of course, Gail is at the front door. Well, hello there. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, do you hear me loud and clear? Smile for the camera. There you go. Okay, thanks for being a good sport and uh, putting on your warm coat. So the Fire TV comes uh, Zoom enabled, so to speak. Uh, it has a microphone. Uh, you will need to
purchase a um, USB camera. If you have a camera, any sort of webcam sitting around, you'll see at the top here, you'll see my Logitech 920 that I just connected. It's a very simple, you just plug it into a USB port at the back of the TV, it all connects seamlessly. You don't have to do anything. You do have to download the Zoom app onto the TV. That's very simple. I'm not going to go through that, but I will show you how to set it up. Uh, so all that you do is download the Zoom app onto the TV, then you sign into your Zoom account. There's a little bit of a pairing that goes on and you're uh, good to go. So as you see now, I'm sitting here um, uh, watching the football game. Let's do a Zoom call. Alexa, play Zoom. Now this is, uh, we're now at the uh, Zoom login. Uh, I've set it up so you need a pin code to uh, to enter into Zoom. Let's, um, I'm just gonna put my pin code in and then it'll, we'll set up a meeting. All right, this is uh, at our now, at our Zoom meeting um, menu. And you'll see that we have, um, you can start a meeting, happy hour at the Browns if you wanna start that or we can um, uh, start a new meeting, schedule a new meeting, we can join a meeting, uh, or we can share our contents. In other words, you could share this screen with other people. So this is the, uh, this is once we've started the meeting, you'll see that we have at the bottom, we have um, pretty much the same. Uh, we have the mute function, the video function. Uh, we have the uh, share content view, reactions. Uh, we get more and we can come up with the same the same menus. The beauty of this is that it's all run on your television. You don't need a computer, a cell phone, or anything like that. It's all run through your uh, Omni TV. So I'd like to show you how to set up your ring doorbell with your Fire TV. Now I'm going to draw your attention to an excellent video by Daniel Westo and I'm going to put the link down below and I would suggest you watch that video for a step-by-step -step integration uh, and how to set it up. Now, I think things have changed. He made the video in 2021. In 2022, when I got my Fire TV, it sort of all happened. The next thing I know, uh, uh, Miss A is asking me if I want to uh, use my Ring doorbell on my TV. So it all happens seamlessly and it worked. There is one specific setup in the Alexa app that I'd like you to draw your attention to and I'm gonna show you that in the next video. I am assuming that you have set up your Alexa app on your phone and that you have a functioning Miss A system. If you haven't, then I would encourage you to watch the video by Daniel Westo. So let's get on and let me show you the setting that you need to ensure that your ring doorbell will work with your TV. All right, we are now on my Pixel phone and I'm going to show you the Alexa app. We're gonna open that and we're gonna come down to the bottom and you're gonna see devices. We're gonna click devices. Once we do that, you're gonna see at the top, you'll see cameras. We're gonna click cameras and now you're gonna see the menu and we're gonna to go to front door, ring.com, it's uh, middle one. And when we click this, we're going to see my ring doorbell, of course, but I want you to come up to the top right and you're going to see a little cog wheel, which is the settings. Let's click that. And now you're going to see uh, down, you'll see doorbell press announcements. You want to make sure that's toggled on. This is what integrates the, um, the ring doorbell into your TV and you'll see the announcement as I showed you in the video. I've left the motion announcements off as I find these annoying and I often get frequent uh, motion detection on my doorbell. So I don't wanna see that, so that stays off. That is the important thing in your Ring doorbell app. <clears throat> that is the important thing in the Alexa app. You must have that turned on. Well, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. If you are in the Amazon environment, you certainly may want to consider an Omni TV. Till we see you again, have a great day.